cheeses, croissants, pastries, they love their baguettes. So how can they have all these unhealthy, like fattening foods, but they are overall slim? Yeah, why they don't get fat, basically. Hi, my name is Monia, welcome back to my channel. I'm a licensed nutritionist, and today I'm gonna talk with you about why French women don't get fat. Let's see why that is. So I went to Paris a few weeks ago for my birthday and I really noticed how slim and slender the women are there. Not just women in my age or Gen Z girls, but genuinely all kinds of ages, up to like 80 years old. And so that curious, I was like, hmm, why is that? Why is everybody so slim here? So guess what? There's a book that actually explains why that is. So the title of the book is obviously really cheeky and might outrage some people. I think it was a really clever title. So I was like intrigued. The book by Mireille Giuliano, sorry if I mispronounced this, explores the cultural and lifestyle habits of French women that contributes to their reputation of maintaining a healthy body. Why they don't get fat, basically. I basically read this so you don't have to. And I give you my key takeaways from the book because there is some really good stuff in there. So the author of this book is French and she went to America, put on weight in America, she lived there for quite some time and then she came back to France and she really struggled to lose the weight and she was like what is going on? Why am I struggling to lose that weight? And then she worked with a doctor, I mean the whole doctor story is a bit weird, she kind of started to understand that she kind of like lost her habits that were actually natural to her before and then she went back to incorporating those habits again and we're going to talk about what these habits are. So it's not about like oh you need to be skinny or something. There's a thing called the French paradox and that basically just means that people in France seem to be a healthy weight, right? They don't have a lot of obesity there and they are in shape. But on the other hand, they eat a lot of things like cheeses and they have croissants, right? They have boulangeries, which are like their bakeries. French food culture is very dough focused. They love their baguette. They love their wine. So how can they have all these quote unquote unhealthy like fattening foods, but they are overall slim? So the first thing is balance eating habits. What this book tells you is that French women often practice portion control and moderation. Moderation seems to be kind of dead oftentimes in the wellness space or in the weight loss space. It's like all or nothing. You're either binging your head out or you're completely restricting and not eating anything because it's like quote unquote bad. White knuckling, right? Like struggle through it and then it's getting too much and then you fall off the wagon and you like completely overeat, right? And you eat all the things that are quote unquote bad. That is not what French women in this book do. I know of course, it's a bit of a generalization because obviously not every French woman has those eating habits. It's just a general like look at the nation as a whole and the culture as a whole. Also really important for French women, quality of it, quantity of food. Quality of ingredients is really important in French culture. The French culinary culture focuses a lot on fresh ingredients, it's fresh vegetables, fresh fish, fresh produce, mussels. When I went to Paris, they had a lot of food market and the produce on these food markets were incredible. Like we have food markets here in Berlin and you cannot really compare them. Like they had so many options for vegetables, for fish. They had so many like fish mongers there and we don't really have that here. It's a huge part of their culture to go to, to a market and, and buy food. They do a lot of home cooking. So convenient foods, of course they have convenient foods there, but it's not a really big part of their culture. It's not like I lived in the UK for a long time and convenience food is a huge thing there. Having meal deals, Right, having sandwiches for lunch, having crisps or chips for lunch. So like all this kind of really ultra processed, not really filling, not really high quality ingredients foods will not really keep you full for long and will not really satisfy you. And then you will like just constantly want to snack, snack, snack. And that brings me to point number two is that the French people or the French women don't really have a snacking culture. So maybe talk to your mom or your grandmother. Back in the day, snacking was not a thing. My mom always says like snacking was not a thing when I grew up. Like my mom grew up in like in the 70s. That's why people back in the day in the 60s and 70s were all really slim. Like when you look at videos from like Woodstock, people are just naturally slim because snacking and like snacking on ultra processed snacks that don't fill you up, that are extra calories and that spike your blood sugar probably that you want to snack more and more and more and then you snack yourself throughout the day like the grazing and then you're not actually
actually really that hungry for your meals, but you still eat your meals, so you actually overeat on calories, right? Snacking is a problem in the Western world, and there's a huge industry for snacks. But honestly, I'm not a big fan of snacking in between your meals, unless you're like obviously hungry. But that really tells me is that you either skipped a meal or you didn't really eat enough for your actual meal, or you didn't eat food for your meal that was rich in fiber, that was rich in protein, things that keep you satiated for long, and that actually give you energy. Number three, if they have an active lifestyle. What she kind of says in here is that French women, they're not really gym bunnies, they don't really love going to the gym. I don't know how true that is, but basically what she says is that a really important thing for women is just physical activity throughout the day, so they walk everywhere. And I've really noticed this when I was in Paris, like people walk, walk, walk. So they're out, they're walking, they're taking the stairs, there's a lot of cyclists around, well I know this from Germany here as well. People maybe in mainland Europe, they have a really active lifestyle because cycling is a huge thing here and walking is a huge thing here. French women, similar to other mainland European women, I think are just generally a lot more active throughout the day. Making physical activity part of your well-being and your wellness routine and not using less for weight loss. When you have this relationship with exercise or movement where you think, oh, yeah, I have to move to like burn calories, or I have to get my steps in. That's like a really toxic relationship with movement and exercise. So it's more about doing this for yourself out of self-care and self-love for your body, right? And then the last thing really, really important French women practice mindful eating and mindful eating is really really important and so underestimated in a way because yes the nutrition aspect is important having quality ingredients is having a diversity of foods right like diversity of vegetables is really important for your gut health our gut is crucial for our well-being and health and in order to have a healthy gut we need to have a diverse diet because our gut microbiome our bacteria and our gut they thrive on diversity when it comes to food. Also what is really important is mindful eating and what she says is that French women practice it. So what does it look like? French culture places a strong emphasis on the dining experience and the enjoyment of meals. So she talks a lot about pleasure. In this book how French women obviously love having pleasure with food is super super important. But there's a difference and I think this is super crucial between having an instant pleasure hit from the dopamine when you just shovel down like a donut or you actually look forward to maybe a nice slice of cake or a nice croissant or some nice pastry and you actually plan it so maybe you're gonna meet a friend for coffee and you plan your pastry and you're like oh I'm really looking forward to it and what you do is you don't just sit there and like shovel it down you actually enjoy it so you take small bites you chew it and that's kind of what French people do they really practice and celebrate eating so dining is really important in French culture people in France they love to just meet and have this like dining experience and meals take quite a long time because people take their time, they chat, they talk, they laugh. It's a really like social experience. It's not like where people here like they maybe just watch Netflix and like eat their meal and not even paying attention to what they're eating. That's a huge problem. They practice like being in tune with their bodies and they stop before they're like overly full. It's important that individual lifestyle and choices can completely vary and not all French women follow these practices. Additionally, genetics, metabolism, and various other factors play a role in weight management. So the book French Women Don't Get Fat present a cultural perspective. However, I do think that its insights are applicable for pretty much everybody because literally what they're saying is balance eating habits, focus on quality over quantity, eat a lot of fresh produce, fiber, lean proteins, have an active lifestyle, don't snack in between meals, and mindful eating and pleasure when it comes to food, like actual pleasure over the false pleasure of like the quick dopamine hit. Okay, I hope this was helpful. If you want more content like this maybe you want me to do other book reviews when it comes to wellness weight loss nutrition healthy eating let me know and i speak to you guys soon bye